Japan has just surrendered. Of course, it couldn't do anything against the mighty United States of America! That should bring an end to World War II, right? I'm so glad the war is finally over. So, has anything particularly interesting happened while I was gone? I'm so happy for you, America! Hold on. Sister, what's going on exactly? Well, since the war has ended, you're now considered to be a superpower. A superpower? Do people think the bombs I used were some kind of superpower? <laughs> I bet everyone was impressed to see such advanced technology and must have thought it was some kind of superpower. It means you're the most powerful country now. Your influence can now reach all corners of the Earth. That's pretty neat! It was only a matter of time. Congrats, America! I'm so proud of you, son. I knew you'd surpass me in no time. Allow me to hand you these shades. I remember you'd wear those things from time to time, but why would you give them to me? Don't they mean a lot to you? I needed protection for my eyes. After all, the sun never sets on the British Empire. <laughs> I used to rule the waves, but it seems you're going to do something greater than that. Well, thank you, Dad. I appreciate it. I look great, don't I? Anything else you'd like to inform me about? Yes, well, as it turns out, the Soviet Union is also a superpower now. Really? The Communists? Listen, America. It is of the utmost importance that we maintain good relations with the Soviet Union. We don't know what they're capable of once they're mad. Are you even listening to me, America? So what, you cleared up an evil empire to replace it with another evil empire? Evil? That would describe you capitalists a lot better. I bet you're up to no good. Shouldn't be much of a surprise to me. Capitalist pigs. What the heck was all that about? Can't you see it, Dad? They want to strip away our lovely fast food restaurants and replace them with... I don't know, turnip farms. The Soviet Union's inherently our enemy. Well, I guess they're evil. But we don't want to anger them. Who knows what they might be capable of. What's the Soviet Union gonna do? Challenge the almighty United States of America? <laughs> don't make me laugh. I have the technology that other countries could only dream of possessing. It seems that the Soviets have figured out how to make an atom bomb already. I guess we should be more aware of those Rusky spies. Who knows what they're planning to steal next. Let's head back home already. Nothing like a nice afternoon meal at McDonald's, huh, sis? You bet the food's great. Though, you know, it could be way better if you included something like maple cookies with syrup on the menu. You sure love your syrup, eh? Enjoying your high-calorie meal? What do you want now? Guys, don't fight! I'm right in between you two. We're kinda busy here. Why don't you keep doing your commie things away? Oh, I was sure busy doing my commie things. Just look at the nose. It says the Soviets have launched the first artificial moon. What's that Sputnik thing? The thing that is orbiting right above your heads right now. This can't be true! What can I say? I am a country of science. While well, you were getting fat with your tyrannical and evil fast food corporations, I was working very hard to accomplish this. I've got to tell Britain about this. I'll be right back. I'll head to Europe to see Dad. Say hi to our dad for me. Did you hear about the news? Quite sad indeed. My colonies have been breaking away from me non-stop. I thought everyone liked my tea. No, Dad. The Soviet Union just launched an artificial satellite into space. Isn't scientific progress a good thing? Back in my day, I used to be. You're missing the point, Dad. Now they have the technology to launch missiles into space and they could strike on at any point of the Earth. And besides, I guess I'm number two now. Silver medals ain't good enough for America. Aren't you just jealous? Um, it's not about that, Dad. The Soviet Union can't be trusted with such technology. I've got to catch up and surpass them. Oh, yeah? You're looking to challenge me, Soviet Union. Then a fierce competition is what you're going to get. 
I'm going to win this space race because I'm the best. <laughs> Whatever you say, let the best country win. Stupid Soviet Union. No one's better than me. I'm going to show him who's best. Check out my new rocket. I'm going to be launching it right this second. Oh my goodness, this wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I didn't know it was the 4th of July to be blowing stuff up. Don't make fun of my Independence Day. You know, I wonder, what do the newspapers have to say now? Would you look at that? You launched a dog into space. Pretty impressive, am I right? Why would you ever do that? Two tests the grounds for my greatest achievement yet. Yuri Gagarin, a Soviet Air Force's pilot and cosmonaut, has become the first human to journey into outer space. Get out of here before I nuke you to the ground! Can't you just accept the fact that I'm better than you? Come on, get out! <sighs> I gotta prove him wrong. I can't believe it. The Soviet Union's always one step ahead of me. I mean, what's next? Whoa. First woman in space. That's it. But the Soviet Union has been first at a lot of things. How are you gonna make up for it? Something so great that will single-handedly put me on first place again. How do you plan on winning the space race? The answer is right above you, sister. Look up. The moon? That's right. The moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we are willing to accept. One we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. And the others too. I'm so proud of you, America. You know me, Dad. I'm always pushing myself to the limit. <laughs> Once you plant your flag up there, are you going to follow the steps of your old man to claim some land and create a massive empire? A space empire does sound kind of cool. But of course not, Dad. For the hundredth time, I don't want to have an empire. Well, alright. Don't forget you've always got my support. It's been a challenging decade, but here I am, about to make history. I've invited our brothers so we could all be together to watch this. Australia! New Zealand! Long time no see, eh? Hey everybody, my boy's on the telly right now! Hmm, I wonder what he might be up to. Here they go. That's all I wanted to see. My beautiful star-spangled banner on the moon. It goes without saying who the real champion is here. You did it, America! Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, hippity hoppin' over here, land you. Da 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 Hippity hoppin' along. Hey, America? Here to crown the king. I've got to admit that you have done something amazing. Congrats, you've earned it. It wasn't that hard at all. It was actually a piece of cake. Marvelous job, son. I knew you could do it. I was thinking, instead of competing with each other, perhaps we should join together for science. Yeah, it was about time we put our differences aside. Let this be the start of something new. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm looking forward to be working with the Soviet Union to g uh, wait, who are you guys? The Soviet Union has just collapsed. We're what remain. I'm the Russian Federation. Nice to meet you. Should I be worried about you? No, I'm totally down with trying out capitalism now. In fact, I was looking to see if you could open some McDonald's back in my place. Hey, I like this guy already. I hope we get along well. Not only did I win the space race, but also the Cold War. Is there something I can't do? See you all in the next episode, everybody, and happy holidays. 
So that would be the way I see the space race. I sure hope you guys liked this video, because it was quite fun to make. Now this video couldn't have been made without the help of our voice actors over here. Thank you guys for making this possible. As America has said before, I wish you all a happy Christmas. See you next time.